Hello. <laughs> oh, I'll think of that intro. Um, so, if you're seeing, so I'm thinking of doing like a uh, what you call it. So I'm thinking of doing like an unedited makeup tutorial video, so you get to see like what it's like to have like the raw footage. Because I think that might be fun. So if you're seeing that now, that's what I've decided to do. But obviously, I'm not going to pay attention to this video. I'm going to be paying attention to the main makeup tutorial. So. I'm going to be repeating things a lot, and saying lots of things, and then saying something and then being like, no, that's done. Or maybe not saying things a lot, but this is just what the full um, beginning to end process of getting a makeup looks like. This is not the day for me to be doing this though. Okay, so now I'm going to get on with the actual video. <clears throat> Alright, so, you can see I'm wet. Wait, is this working? Yeah. Check my microphone's on. So you can see I'm soaking wet and moist, and I really like how I look when my hair's wet. It's I enjoy, um, but it's because I just had to have a shower because I'm going. I have to leave in two hours. Um, wait, I don't know if you know, but you know that I give myself two and a half hours to get ready. And this is for a really important um, press event. And I really want to make myself look really like perfect and polished and pretty and take time with myself, but. Due to circumstances, that just didn't end up happening, and now I don't have that much time. So, I'm going to try and just do what I can, get ready as quick as I can. But also, talk you through it, since, you know, I can. Alright, put my mirror here. I don't want my mirror to be in the camera, because that's really annoying. But I don't want to put my hair up, either. I was going to put my hair net on, but I don't want to, because my hair's wet, and I want to let it dry as I'm doing my makeup, instead. There's that. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to start off with gluing my eyebrows down. I debated doing this because I thought I really want, you know, HD cameras and everything. I wanted to look really good, but I glue my eyebrows down because I'm prettier when I draw on new eyebrows. Also, my voice sounds really croaky. I kind of like it. I like that. I like that. So I'm just going to brush against the grain. And then glue against the green. Make sure you don't glue your hair to your eyebrows. I have done that before. <laughs> uh, I think I'll glue the whole thing down and see how I feel. So just back and forth plenty of times. Get it nice and purple. And then comb it through. Okay. And now more glue. So the hair is on the like the back side of the hairs absolutely completely just a lot and then start to squish the hairs back down the way they want to lie and use a comb encourage them to do that don't try to comb too hard though because you don't want to peel the glue off the hairs you just stuck down and the comb might do that use the brush side maybe I don't think I like the brush though comb so it's like the middle hairs they go up and the outer ones go like this way a little bit more and you see I'm pulling my face back because I'm mainly just pulling my hair out my face but I'm also like really wanting to flatten pull my eyebrow up against my flat forehead because my brow bone is just a bit much So, and then and more glue ow, oh god, ow that really hurt ow that really hurt, I just bashed myself at the corner of the glue right in my brow bone I might bleed now and then more glue back and forth, just make a nice big tacky mess. There you go. And that's when I do it down. And I'm gonna just do the same to this eyebrow.
I was thinking with this whole unedited video thing that I could like talk to you and just have like a big informal chat and I might do that but I'm in such a rush I kind of don't want to spend time chit chatting you know how it is how many times do I film these videos in a rush oh it really hurts I think I've got a spot on my eyebrow or something it's really tender see like this looks good and it looks flat, but when it dries I'm going to put powder over it. We'll see, actually, it's really bumpy, so we'll probably have to do another layer of this over that. But for now, this is drying. Um, I can't decide if I should get on with my makeup or if I want to brush my teeth. <sighs> I'm going to quickly brush my teeth while my eyebrows are drying, because then it means I can glue my eyebrows down and just get on with my makeup instead of working around the eyebrows. That's just annoying to me. Um, but what I will do before that is I will soak my face in some primer. Just, you know, put that in and get that in. Also, I've got some eye cream. I'm going to put that on. So, eye cream on. Just blend, not blend, what do you call it? Rub it in. Any excess, I put my eyelid and my lips and around my nose, just moisturize my face. And then primer. This is a vitamin primer from Primark. Name not related. <laughs> and it's just so nice. It smells nice. It feels nice. It does a nice job, I think. I don't know what I've been doing with my face lately, but one or all of these products are just really helping my skin. And I haven't been spotty in a very, very long time. I don't know if it's like... Hyaluronic acid water, glycolic acid face washes, this vitamin primer, uh, micellar water face sprays, the primer spray, just cleaning my face, the wipes I use, the makeup I use, I don't know, I just, my skin's doing that lately. Very happy, okay. I'm going to brush my teeth and then come right back while, while the glue's drying. And if you're watching the unedited one, you can, you can hear it right now. I thought I'd join you while I brush my teeth. I've really got something to look at. Because <laughs> I have really yellow teeth, it's just a problem I have. I don't know why. So I really want to make sure they're not yellow. So I'm brushing them like extra. Okay, whatever. Well, I want to do a more intense pushing with like bicarb and lemon juice. I do that sometimes. Um, they're better than they were. All right, I'm back. Ugh. Okay. Uh, so now it's time for some basic, basic stuff. Basics. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to lay down the highlight colors with a white, 
Um, I don't want to put down a foundation first because then all of the colours mix with the foundation and I want these to be vibrant as they are. There. Put that there. It's annoying, I'm gonna want, I think I might put my hair up because it's starting to get in my face. Do you remember when I caught a fringe in a few months ago? The fringe that's haired around the world, to be honest. <laughs> I regret it. I wish I could just put all my hair up in one go instead of these bits, like, ugh, whatever. Uh, and I'm also going to put some um, lip balm on. Keep my lips moisturised under all this makeup. Oh shit, oh god. <laughs> Right, um, and then I'm gonna do a lot of dark contouring. I'm gonna do like that crazy contouring technique where it's too much, and then put foundation over it. That's something I learned from like a I think it was a tatty video with Scott Barnes in it, and it really works. It's such a good technique. I can't find my clean contour. not the day to be in a rush. My desk is such a mess. I've got surgical caps and a medical mask here. You're probably wondering why. It's best if we just don't ask those questions. Where is my cream contour? Hello? I mean, I've got other cream contours, but that's not the one I want. Today's going to be a flop. Today's going to be the floppiest of flops. Gone, down, go. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Freak out. <laughs> so it's just like a queen comes up like, oh my god, I can't open it. This is just a cream contour by Obsession. I'm going to put that in all of my contour areas very heavily and liberally and deal with blending later. Right. Get this clip as well. Make sure my hair is out of the way. Because I don't want to be getting makeup in my hair and I don't want my hair to be in the way of my makeup. There. There we go. Just carve down this forehead. This big old five head. Do some cheap contouring. I don't usually like to, but I think I'll do a little bit today. Keep me looking fierce. Put that on the chin. Jaw. Carve out a new jawline, and my mirror is so filthy I can't see a thing. To be honest, that doesn't help as well. That it's barely looking at me, right? I've got this surgical mask, this will have to do. <laughs> oh no, I've got a glasses case, that'll work. <sighs> it's a bit better. I wish I could, I, I want to raise the camera, but the camera's in such a good position, but I just don't want the mirror in the shot. Can I zoom in a bit? That's good information. Okay, I've zoomed you in a bit so you don't have to see my mirror. And the angle's still, still good. So right now I'm contouring like a crazy person. I'm going to put some down the side of my nose. Squeeze it out. Oh god, that's too much. Okay, there's too much there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on my jaw, because I know I want a lot on my jaw. See, like that. <clears throat> this stuff dries quickly. This is by LA Girl. They're like pro conceal stuff. It's mental. Look how much. A little goes a long way, but it dries so quick. So I'm going to kind of. Oh, this is looking bad. This is looking really bad. It's okay. I've seen this before. It's fine. We're going to be putting foundation over it. 
give myself a whole new neck. Contour out the neck. I also really want to cover my chest tattoo, so I might do that. Under the lips, and then with this little thing, gonna go down my nose. See, like that. Pull that out a bit. And the underside of my nose, so it like lifts my nose a bit, so it looks like my nose ends sooner than it does. And then with what I've left on the brush, just kind of begin to blend. So the lines aren't as harsh, but this isn't like the actual blending. And then a little bit more on the forehead. Really get those corners nice and dark, so we're building up a nice depth thing. Just darken the darkest bits, light and lightest bits. You know, since I haven't done anything around here, that's because the eyebrows are still gluing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some loose powder. It's half three. I have to leave in an hour and a half. It's okay. Also being full drag there. The hair I've got is very exciting. Sneak peek, it's going to be a full red look. Okay, so here me, I am. I'm pressing the powder into the eyebrows, but you can see they're still looking very eyebrowy, still very textured, which is fine at this stage. That is perfectly normal and acceptable. Don't worry. Don't freak out. So I'm going to dust off a little bit of that powder, just so it's not too much. I need to get some wired now. Warm up the glue, and then just go over back and forth because yeah, we're not really disturbing the eyebrow underneath. We're just kind of putting glue over the top, and almost I guess like filling in the gaps or flattening it even more. I obviously don't really know the theory of all this. I know I usually do two layers. We might go for three today if it doesn't make things worse. Sometimes I feel like the more layers you do, just you're making things worse and worse. Hopefully today's not one of those days. Right. Right then. Right then. And then with the second layer of glue, for some reason, I don't know why I do this, but I like to press the powder in before it's even dried. I might try to let it dry a little bit. I think it's mainly just because I'm impatient and I might just get the makeup on. But I like to really press that powder in. While it's in this like tacky stage. And I feel like pressing it in definitely helps flatten the eyebrow and really just eliminate any brow shape. Look at that. I'm really happy with this colour actually. This is looking good. It's looking nice and clean. Two layers might be it today. Okay, and same again. Really pressing it in there. Oh! I, might, I don't know if I pressed too hard or if the glue was still too wet. The glue started to come up with the powder. That's fine. Just stay there. That's not too bad, is it? That sounded weird. <coughs> That's not too bad, is it? Sounds a bit short, more sure of myself that time. Okay. brush off the excess powder so I just, just get lumps of powder in my makeup and then um, I actually I'm gonna put the white over. Sometimes I don't like to put the white over because I feel like I need to colour correct the eyebrow hairs but it's fine. Put that just all over in this area so it's white. And how does that look? Okay that's looking pretty acceptably covered.
and then just the rest of the forehead makeup. Not doing my eyes yet though, the eyes are their own entity. Okay, and then I'm going to take my mid-tone shade, paint stick, 1W, the other one was 0, 0, 0 and I'm going to just fill in all the in between the areas of this. You see, like that. Just so it's not literally like a black and brown, no, not black and brown, a white and brown. Very black and white contrasting. Also, I'm going to bring that down here. And I'm going to see, you can't see right now, but I'm going to. So I also really want to cover my chest tattoo, so I'm gonna like brush some brown over it as like colour correcting. And then I'll just put a few layers of this paint stick over it. And that's pretty much good enough coverage really. It'll look better than nothing, I guess. And I'm gonna just pull that over like that and then yeah. Because I just much prefer my chest how it looks without a tattoo now. And the dress I'm wearing is got like little straps, spaghetti straps, I think they're called. Don't know. Okay, cool, that is. Okay, now I've got this. I'm going to spray some um, setting spray on this. I don't know if it helps, but it feels nice. And then I'm going to just like loosely blend everything all together, I guess. And this is all still before. I've gone in with a layer of like foundation to help sheer everything out. This is just kind of blending all the pieces together, roughly, loosely. I'm still trying to keep everything in the areas that I put it in. You can tell the whole thing is kind of just looking pale. <laughs> Which is also fine because I have not done the foundation yet. And then you're going to bring it down onto the neck. I'm gonna go around my neck as well because I'm wearing an updo today. <laughs> Why do I make all these choices on the same day? And then let's see if I can blend out what's on top of the tattoo. Yeah, but the tattoo still shows through a bit. Let's see, it's, uh, it's really subtle though. I think I can get away with that after a few more layers of makeup. So something's happened here, and <laughs> my nose contour has come onto the onto my head. Let's just take that off. Put the white back on. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back in with the brush that has the contour colour on it and just kind of add darkness back into the dark areas. And just, you know, slowly starting to just kind of blend everything more and more. This looks crazy right now though, doesn't it? You're probably thinking, no! Just now. Okay. More blending. And then, I have a foundation. So I like to use two foundations. This one is a bit darker than my normal skin colour. Only a tiny bit, like maybe a shade or a half, but it's a really good foundation. Oh, and it's running out. I love that. No. I don't want you to run out. I like you. Okay. 
And then I mix that with my Revlon one, which is a tiny bit paler than I am. There you go. And I'll just mix them together on my hand like that. And there you go. And then just put it everywhere, mostly focusing on the in between the areas. So I'm not going to put it straight in like the contour areas or the highlight areas, but it is also kind of generally going to just go over the whole face. And really just kind of subtle out all the crazy like underpainting we did. Definitely going to put it over the eyebrows. The texture of those, by the way, is starting to show through a bit, but once we've got lots more dramatic makeup on it should be fine. I don't feel like you can tell looking in like the camera screen that the eyebrows are really that present. Okay, and then I'm going to use a bit more foundation as I come down onto my neck. I'm going to have to use this one because my other one's ran out. <laughs> Let's see. Dot that over the, the tattoo. I don't know if it actually if it's just picking up the paint stick and making things worse. But hey, we'll just keep going, we'll do layers and layers and layers, and then we'll do powder. It'll be Uh, I'm also going to put primer on my eyes now, just so my eyes don't feel like left out of this whole makeup thing. Well, if I could find my eye primer, but I can't. So I guess I'll just put makeup all over the lids instead. Fuck it. There's a layer. So now I'm going to go back in with that contour brush and kind of just watch how easy it is to bring all those dark tones back in. But for some reason, they just come through more, looking more natural. Just like much more like a natural kind of shadow as we kind of slowly just bring them back in and pull them back out of that crazy crazy different colour story we've got going on right now. I look very grey in the face, but I don't mind that. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly! And then my ear. Sort her out right away. Jeez. There's something very grey about all this makeup today, actually. Maybe it's because the brown was such a cool toned brown and it's all kind of mixed, but mixed with the white maybe? It's never happened before. Hmm. And then the chin, I'm just gonna whittle down the chin like I like to do, because it's convinced I've got a big fat chin. And then blend that. Edges, blend those edges. by my neck because my neck looks a bit horribly textured. <laughs> also bring out my collarbones because people like collarbones. I never do this. I don't usually care for collarbones. They kind of gross me out. <laughs> but let's see if I can do it today. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go Get back in with a bit more foundation just because I've got a little bit left on my hand and just pop that around, clean up here. Yeah. 
Okay, now I'm going to put some contour back in my face. Hopefully it'll warm this face up. And, you know, just continue the sculpting. So I'm going to put it back in my forehead and then blend it down. So it just marries neatly with the rest of my face. The cheeks. Only a little bit, like, right there so it looks like a natural cheekbone. I don't like... The, con the whole contour thing. Besides, I don't want to look incredibly draggy today. We're looking very glam today. And then, of course, the jawline. Whittle it down, give me that little lady jaw. Blend again. And the brush still has the contour on it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and contour the nose again. And this time definitely focus on blending, pulling out, fixing edges, making everything just nice and lovely. Mm. Look at that nose! Oh! Could you ever? And I'm going to take this slightly darker thing. And refine that even more. And definitely focus at the bottom. I know a lot of people don't focus on the end of the nose, they contour the top and then leave the bottom out. But, um, I don't like to do that. I like to bring the contour all the way down. And really focus on giving myself a nice new nose tip. I think that's uneven though. I don't want uneven nose. And then I see if I can start to suggest a crease. Just start to bring that this way. That's going to be my eye socket, that is. Right above the eyebrows, where they once was. Back in with the original brush. And just soften that, blend it a bit. I just like to make sure my nostrils are coloured in. Not too much outside, but kind of inside, but I don't want just white nostrils. It's a bit weird. Blend all those nooks and crannies. Okay, now that we've gone back in with the contour and kind of put contour on the face, gonna go back in with the highlight now. I really lighten up the areas we wanna lighten up. So that's like under the eye and the cheek, but also in like with this like the nether labial folds, and then also chin, I guess my upper lip, I guess the outside of my cheek. And I guess the brow bones. And maybe between the brow. I also want to do the nose, but I might do that with a separate brush. And then blend.
Let's see if I can put some white on my like neck collarbone area. Just like. And then maybe over the tattoo. You put a layer of white. See what that does. Hmm, not convinced that it's doing much. back in with that contour brush since that's a better match of my skin than the white is and then I can just clean up everything I did on my chest with this and I'll probably throw a bunch of highlighter or glitter or something over my chest just to clean that up go back in with the normal paint stick colour and just you know give our best shot at eliminating this tattoo I think I've only really properly hit it once, and it was with that one amazing concealer, the um, Derma Color, Derma Col, the one that everyone knows is for covering tattoos, and it did work. Though I may have given it a bit of a helping hand in Photoshop, I honestly don't remember. <laughs> Probably did, knowing me. I definitely need to drag this down my chest because I don't know how much my chest is on show but my skin looks it's starting to look almost green in comparison to where it has the makeup on it so you can really tell where it has makeup on and where it doesn't and that is not it, that is not the one. Okay. Oh I still need to blend this eyebrow highlight situation. And now I think we're good for powder. Unless I want to do the eyebrows. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and draw on the eyebrows. We're going to do kind of semi-natural today. If I think this is where my crease is going to be, then the eyebrows can start here. Just kind of come up, not too far before they start to arch. I think that might be okay. I don't want them too thick. I think that's today's eyebrows. Maybe bring it inside a bit more. Cool. Are they even? Don't know. They'll do until I clean them up and really refine the shape. But there you go. I goes. So then I'm going to go in with the white again. And just clean up underneath them.
So I'm gonna have red hair, but I don't want to do red eyebrows because I just think that'd be tacky. So I'm gonna just do like a nice simple blonde brown eyebrow. A non-offensive, one size fits all eyebrow. There you go. Oh, I just put my hand on my chest and took all the makeup off. Gross. Didn't realise that would happen. Okay, I'm going to spray some setting spray over the chest, but then also over my face. Because it just feels nice. But there's like basically the contouring and stuff done at the cream stage. Um, I'm going to take the little brush with the white on and just... There you go. And a little pinch at the end of my nose, maybe the rest of my nose. Definitely focus it on the end, so it's very like. Okay. <clears throat> now to set this face with powder. So I'm going to start off with a white powder. I'm sure I have one somewhere. Please. And now I do. So I'm going to set uh, the under eyes and the brow bone with this pure white powder. I don't know how good it is, but... I think it's alright. And I think it's just lighter than the light powder I normally use. So, either way, I'll do sun. Really putting it heavy there, because it's guess what also baking. And I'll also put this on the brow bone. Set those glued down eyebrows again. You see, as I put the powder on, it stops all of like, the bad texture showing. It really helps to eliminate the fact that I had eyebrows there once. <laughs> I may as well put this in all the other highlight areas loosely. And let's see how it looks on my chest over the tattoo. Just pat, pat, pat. Okay. Okay. And then using that same puff, I'm going to use my normal light powder, which is just like a pale shade. Ivory. And then put that. It's basically white, but I'm going to put that around more. This is a better powder. I just wanted to put the pure white in like the most highlighted areas. I'll even put this on top of where the white was, just in case the white wasn't that good of a powder. I'll also put this over the tattoo. Definitely think that's helping. And also on my neck, just to balance things out. Ears, sure. Okay. Now for my normal powder. Which is slightly warmer than I am. And it'll go in the rest of my face with a slightly different powder puff. Okay, it's four o'clock. I've been recording for 45 minutes. I've got to go in an hour. I need to put my outfit on. It won't take too long to put on, I guess. The wig might take a while. Let's see. Ooh. What was that? And I'm just going to put this everywhere else on the face. I'll even set the eyebrows with it. Let's get a bit more. Because I want this on my body as well. Really just patting it everywhere.
And then I'm really gonna start to like beat it in the face, almost like I'm blending it, as if I was using like a blender. Okay, and then before we dust all that off, it's now time for contour powder. There's my contour brush. Contour brush. I could do it up. Hmm. How do I lose so many things in such a small space? What am I gonna? Oh. I was sitting on it. <laughs> okay. Ooh. I'm gonna take. This is just a pad I've been using for years from H&M. And that's going to go over everywhere I did the contour. And again, like before, I guess because of the underpainting or whatever, the contour is just really easy to bring out. So you just need a little bit and it's like, whoa, look at that, it's already there. So I'm going to do that kind of blend as we go. Just because I don't want it to look incredibly crazy. So we're going to put that on the jaw, down the corners of the chin. Pull it in like areas and then I spread it out. And it will like help to generally warm up the face. Under the lip a bit. Make our lips look fatter. In the cheekbone area, but just ever so slightly. And then the forehead. I look pretty though. I think this is looking good. And I haven't even done my eye makeup yet. Huh? So there we go, a lot on the forehead, I like a very contoured forehead. And then down the sides of the nose, but that's not really that necessary because our nose is already looking pretty nice and dark, but it's good to kind of help bring the consistent shades in, that warmth, and then setting it with powder, and it also means you can blend it, blend it out like that. And I might just play, throw a little bit in this crease area, just around the eye, like that. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay, so I think all of the powders are set down. So we could blend them away, but I might do the eyes first before that. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off by putting like a purple colour in the crease. I'm going to put New York by Obsession and I'm going to just place that down with this Urban Decay brush. New York, it's like a lot of Urban Decay colours that I like but it's not shimmery. So I'm going to put that down in the crease as like a starting point. This is where my crease is going to go and it's going to just kind of go like there. There's my eye socket. Bring that down into the nose area. Again on the other eye. Just because I'm wearing all red, so I'm thinking either like purples, pinks, or oranges will look nice. I can't really want to do like an orange eye look though. So this is gonna, I think, hopefully look a lot more subtle once I'm done with it. So I'm gonna take this brush, this side of the brush, and just kind of start to blend it out, just slightly. Start just like that, and then that kind of gives us our crease shape that we're working with. Cool. Now I need to know where the eyeliner is going to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brown pencil. It's an eyebrow pencil by MUA. Was it a lip pencil? Lip liner. Okay. But it's brown, so I'm going to sketch out where the eyeliner is going to go with this. I don't want to do too crazy eyeliner, but also... I've got to do a flick. I've got to do a wing. And then with a crease this big, I suppose I need to work with the proportions. Just like that. 
and then just bring it back down onto my eye. But I don't want to cover the whole eyelid in liner, so I'm going to try and do this thing. And I guess this is my liner. And then when I know where the liner's going to go, that makes it easier to do um, the rest of the makeup and know where to put eyeshadow. Rather than putting eyeshadow on thinking like, oh yeah, that's the top of my eye, but actually the top of my eye is going to be somewhere else. Okay, so those are the wings down, so then I can put something in the crease. I'm thinking like a white crease, but I also want to do orange, uh, like lid. I want to do just, I really want orange on my eyes, so. And I have this whole orange palette, but anyway, that I just love. So, let's put some orange in. I'm going to start off with like this light-ish orange colour. It's not the craziest, it's not the brightest, and I'm just gonna like brush that underneath my eye. That's very nice. It's a really nice, tasty looking colour, that. I don't even like oranges. I like some orange flavoured things. I love like Fanta and Tango. And I like orange and mango together, but orange juice on its own and oranges, ugh, no. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this more vibrant shade of orange and really paint that on the bottom. Yeah, these this orange on the eyes just looks really nice. So there's orange on the bottom. And then I'm gonna take that same vibrant orange colour and just pack that on my lid like this. And then I'm probably gonna cut the crease with a white. So I don't really mind having a lot of orange on here because it's probably not all gonna stay orange. I've said orange a lot now. Naranja. Especially because after this, like, um, press thing, I'm going to go out-out. So I don't want to look just glam for the whole night. I want to change into a more, like, casual, cool look. So this makeup's kind of going to be the best of both, I guess. Okay, and then there's, like, a shimmery orange colour, but it's darker. So let's see how that looks. That doesn't do anything. I did nothing at all. Um, what about this gold? Let's see if I can... Maybe pack this gold on. That's cute, isn't it? It's subtle, but it's cute. Okay, and then there's a red. So I'm going to take the red and put that on the outside so it can go from like maybe purple to red. Maybe that's the cool story. I'm going to blend that red a lot, and then... I'm doing all this with the same brush, by the way, because... Lazy? I don't want too much red on the eyes, though, because I'm going to be wearing red dress, red shoes, red gloves, red hair, red lips. I don't want red eyes. I think that'd be too much to be comical. So then there's this nice, like, shimmery, purpley colour. I'm going to take that and really put that at the edge as well. And then that means I don't have to worry about the liner being too perfect because it's going to have this darkness kind of helping it blend in. A lot of fallout in this palette, but I don't mind. If I can catch it all, that's just future product for later. And then really trying to like blend these colours together, but I'm also being very rough as I go. This is nice though, this purple to red to orange with a bit of gold and then purple on the top, that's nice. So I'm going to use a slightly lighter purple colour and start to blend the crease out with that I think, let's see is that working? not really <laughs> oh oh, I don't know what that was ah oh my nose really hurt oh, I just feel like I just got shot by a splinter in the nose it's so weird I'm going to put some of that purple colour under the eye 
give me some of that depth. Which we all know I'm lacking. Okay. Oh. I need a fluffier brush. Help, help, help. Okay, this one's got some orange on it, so let's just brush all that stuff together and then start to blend out the bottom. Just slightly, this isn't like the proper thing. And then I'll start to blend out the top as well. I don't want to bring it too high up and I don't want to mess around on my eyebrows too much. Because I feel like I'm just going to make everything look bad. This just kind of looks like a smoky orange eye, then with a bit of purple in the crease to remind you that the crease is there. Which, I'm not mad at. That's okay, I find that acceptable. But what I do think I'll do, just to kind of change it up a bit, is I'm going to dip into Savage by Urban Decay. It's a, a pink colour. And I'm going to maybe try and see if I can blend my crease out with that. So if I just dot that along the crease like this. Mm -hmm. And then... Just blend like that, I guess. Yeah, the pink's nice. And then I'm going to reinforce the lid with a white concealer. I think this pink has a bit of sheer shimmer in it, unless this brush has highlighter on it. But that's not good for my eyebrow cover, because that's really making everything show up. Okay, and then I'm going to see where the eyeliner wings out. I'm going to try and make the eyeshadow echo that and be consistent. I have to leave in an hour. Love that for me. I'm not going to be done, am I? <gasps> And then bringing that pink around to the bottom just to kind of make everything cute and consistent. Okay, but I need to not mess around too much with this because I don't have the time. So then I'm going to take this little white brush, put that in my white paint stick concealer, and then see, I can just cut the crease with this. And then that'll make everything, like, more separated. And not just, like, one big giant orange eye. So I'm going to bring this... Pretty much all the way along, yeah. Okay. Pull it down, and then start to blend it into the eye look. And then go back in with this brush that has all these other colours on it, and blend them together. And just kind of, yeah. So the white is just there at the top and then kind of disappears again. That's nice, isn't it? And I think once I've got my eyeliner on, that'll look good. God, I hope so. <sighs> Hmm, looking good. Okay, so I'm going to get that brush with the white concealer on it again and just kind of clean up under my eyebrow because I don't want the eyeshadow going all the way up to my eyebrow. 
because then you have no under eye room and I think that can make you look kind of angry. So I'm just going to put white under it and kind of push all the eyeshadow back down and be like, nope, stay by the eye, know your place. So that's the white, there, there, and then I'm just going to kind of blend this into the white just to mix the edges but not bring it all the way up to the eyebrow again. There you go, like that. And that way the eyebrows still look raised and there's no like, I like the having the negative space between the two. I guess negative space is what it's called. Because otherwise I just look like angry and frowny. And that my eyes are just like dark and come all the way up, so. Not a fan of that. Okay. Okay. Now I'm also going to take the white and go under my eye. Where, oh, and, mm, I'll do the eyeliner first, actually, yeah. So I'm going to do eyeliner, and I'm going to use, like, a felt tip thing. Probably going to use a couple. I use, like, a cheap rubbish one, and then I use, like, a slightly better one. There we go. Do the inner corner. I like to start off that. And then line the eye and then start to draw on this giant triangle of a wing So I just have to pull the wing out of it there, so I'm going to have to remember to do the same on the other eye. And then I've got all this space here, which I think is confusing, so I'm definitely going to try and make the wing a bit fatter. To really fill in that space. I think this should be, like, darker. I'm tempted to almost go in with, like, a black eyeshadow and do that. I could do that. I might do that. I never use black eyeshadow. Okay, let's see if I have a black eyeshadow anywhere. Uh. I think I do. So there's this, uh, there's this iconic pro palette and there is a black, so. I think it's a good one if I remember correctly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of get that 
pass it on the eyeliner and then just start to brush it in so the eyeliner just kind of blends into the eye like that, do you see? So rather than being like a graphic wing now, it kind of graduates onto the whole eye. And I'm going to definitely focus it more on the crease, because I don't want to turn my whole eye black. But this is, no, I think this is cute. So I threw a lot of black on the outside of my eye, but I definitely think that just helps rather than it be like this. It's very like that. Great explanations for me. Rather than this, it's like that. Just same with this one. That's really, like, glamorous, isn't it? I'm going to bring some of that black on the bottom as well, I think. And then also do my little lower flick. And then I'm going to just going to take this orange brush and help bring the black into the orange so it's not just like an uninvited bit of black help them transition into each other but honestly I think that improved it for some reason I prefer this eye to this eye so I'm gonna just add a bit more black Till I like this one just as much. Hmm. I like that. I might have to start doing this more. This whole... Diffusing my eyeliner out with black business. Okay. Now to finish the, uh, the liner. Scarra on. Oh, my hair keeps falling on my face, it's so annoying. I'm gonna put my scar on, stop these blonde eyelashes. I don't know if they're because they're blonde or if they're covered in powder, but either way, they are not fitting in with this look, so just help everything be more consistent and coherent. Oops, stab myself in the eye. A little bit on the bottoms as well. Stab myself in the eye twice then, God. Okay, these 
these eyes just still don't look even, do they? Something's up. I don't know what though. Should be fine once it's all done anyway, so. Okay, now I'm going to use a liquid, liquid eyeliner, which is very black. And you see. Go over all of like the details. So like the inner corner, the little strip there, and the edges maybe. A bit messy. That's okay, I think. So I've just got to do the same to this eye. Definitely just want to refine this inner corner, definitely make it almost flawless. then I'll just feel better about myself. Okay, uh, while I'm waiting for this eyeliner to dry, I will also draw on some lower lashes. Because that's just always really cute. While I'm here, I'm going to take this this pencil, felt the felt tip, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to blacken the tail of my eyebrows. And then start to blend it into the rest of the brow. And surprisingly, black felt tip into a blonde pencil blends pretty nicely. And then, while I'm here, I'm also going to draw in some brow hair details, like that. And I think that's cute. So now to do the same to the other brow. And I think that just gives the eyebrow more prominence and depth. Okay. Then I'm not quite done, so while I'm at this stage, I'm also going to take a flat handled brush and then really try and blend the two colours together, just, you know, so it doesn't look like whatever it looks like. Brush up details. Okay. 
So now I'm going to dust off and blend together all of this powder. So just tap, first deep tap, because I don't want to, I don't want to smudge any like eyeliner or colours or lines or anything. So I'm going to try and be careful. If there's a little bit that's still under my eye, honestly, that's fine. Blend all that. The nose. And look at that, when it all comes off, it just all blends so beautifully. Now I want to do red lips because I'm doing like a whole red thing, but I'm going to line them with brown. I might use that same brown I used on my eyes. Yeah, eyes it was. So this is just the MUA brown. I'm not too crazy. Sorry, I couldn't talk very much during that whole thing, but there they are lined in a brown and then slightly blended in, and then I'm just going to fill that in with a red. I wanted to do a brown because, I don't know, I like the depth and darkness. I didn't want to just do straight up red. So then, fill it in with a red, and then start to smudge the brown in as well. God, I've had this for about three years. I think it's only just starting to run out. It was like two pound off Amazon. <laughs> Back when I wanted a, a matte lipstick, liquid lipstick. In the days when the only people that really made them was like Jeffree Star. So I got a few of these off Amazon for couple quid each. Ooh, doesn't that just look gorgeous and tight? Like this pussy. So then I'm going to take like a little lip brush, take that white concealer, and I'm going to just do some little under eye detailing see that? just draw on like a white water line under the black line to really embiggen my eye 
Embiggen is a word that was created by The Simpsons, I think. Homer Simpson. Along with meh. Okay. And then... I got a little too heavy-handed with the whites. I'm just going to blend that a bit. There we go. Cute. It just opens up the eye a lot more, doesn't it? It makes it very cute and glamorous. And then I might also just slightly paint some white in between the individual eyelashes that I did. Just for some like cute detailing. It's not that cute actually, is it? Cool. I really like how I look matte, actually. <laughs> but I'm going to put some highlighter on, because this I am me. I got it. So, putty highlighter. I'm not going to put... Oh, go, 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 go. I say I'm not going to put loads on, but I probably will. So I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to use this white highlighter. Put that on right at the top of the cheekbone. I don't know what it is, if it's because I did slightly smaller eyes or slightly smaller lips, but something about me just looks so glamorous. I love this. I hope I still look this good when I've got the whole outfit and the wig on. So I'm putting it in apples of my cheeks as well, so then I look actually like smiley. I'm going to use my little finger, put it on my tip of my nose. Actually, there we go. I managed to do the whole nose with my finger. And then chin. Tip of my chin. It's really giving me that like pointy chin. I really like looking like I have a tiny pointy chin. Bit obsessed, really. And then for the rest of this face, I'm going to use my Revolution. Vivid, vivid, vivid baked highlight in peach lights and put that pretty much everywhere. Oh, I'm not wearing blush. That's okay, isn't it? I might try some blush. And then I've got this highlighter by Sleek, so I'm going to take that on a brush and then really focus that in on like the tip of my cheekbone, and that just makes it look super bright and highlighted. Highlight. That one can also go on my nose a bit. If my blush brushes around, I might use that. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm gonna take this like light peachy colour. Let's see how that looks as a blush. Just put that up here and then Yeah, cute. Just bring that down onto my face. Hmm. Bit on those two, and there we go. 
So, um, besides lashes, this face is done. So I'm going to set this with some spray. How's my chest looking? That's better, I guess. So, I'm probably going to set his face with hairspray as well. And then I'm going to put the wig on. I would like to show you the full unedited video of me like getting ready, but I simply don't have the time to be changing everything around and that. I need to get ready in a rush. So, I'll be back when I've got my wig and lashes on. So, but it's the finished makeup look anyway. Hey. Uh. Okay, so I just spent ages putting the body and dress on, and now I'm going to put my lashes on and then my wig. It is five to five. I have to be at the place. Well, I'm actually meeting at the club at half five. It takes me about 10, 15 minutes to walk there, so I need to leave soon. I also need to pack my bag and then pack a purse and then also pack a change of clothes for when I go out straight after. Won't be coming here, so that's fun. So there's the lashes. I've got glue on them, so... This is the hair. She's from Fox Wigs. And isn't it just amazing? My mum just styled it and put it into this lovely, like, chignon updo. But the wig, the new one, I just got it. It's going to be my first time wearing it. So let's put it on and see how it goes. Yeah, I'm going to put my mirror down for this. Oh, I'm so nervous to put it on. So, oh. oh my god, look at that. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of tweaking. Uh, it, obviously, it looks different when it's styled on a head to how it looks on my head, but I think I've done a pretty good job actually. And then I've got this little bit of fringe that I want like this. Ooh. Look at the lace on it as well, it's like almost invisible, that's so good. these little heart hair clips. Which are very cute. Oh, this is glam. I am so glam. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I just figure out what I want to do with it, like, how I want it. jewelry that can go with it.
So I've got two E-rings, one's gold, one's silver, that's, that's acceptable, isn't it? I'm gonna put the gold one under the hair so it just kind of looks like shadows made it gold, maybe? Beautiful! Okay, I need to find some more clips so I can like puffy make sure it's secured on my head because right now I feel like it's just sitting on my head and I don't feel very secure. I feel rather insecure. Okay, these lashes should be ready to put on now as well. Oh, well, I don't know what is up with the inner corner of this one. Why are you not sticking it? Did I take too long? Did the glue dry? Surely not. No way. Oh, there's lots of like stray hairs just in my face. It's annoying. <laughs> I'll have to put a lot of hairspray on and get those out. Same problem with this one. The inner corner's just not staying on. I'm pretty sure I covered them in glue. Okay. No? Oh my god, the whole thing just came on. Getting stressed, getting stressed. That's a bit better. That's a bit better, but it feels horrible, but I guess it's on better. <laughs> oh, my eyes have got, like, they've got loads of white on them now, from, I guess, my makeup. Just try and colour that in so I don't look like I've got dirty, tacky lashes. Which I do. But no, this wig is from Fox Wigs. It's really good. They've got loads of lovely wigs. I have a code. I think it's Ava. But I'm going to be putting up a full review soon. But this is just for now. If you want to quickly get yourself a little front in. Or maybe the review is already up. Who knows, really? I don't know.
Oh my god, I've just fucked up all the bottom of my eye makeup. This is the danger with using black glue. I mean, it's not bad, I can clean that up easy, but... What if I couldn't? What if I was in a rush? Ugh. Go on. Oh, why is it just... It's only going on all from, like, halfway up my eyelid. Please. What the fuck is that? That is so bad. It's kind of cool, but it's bad. Okay. Okay. I think they're on. They're on. My eye makeup's smudged and ruined. <laughs> Uh, let's hope I can cover those smudges there with white. Okay, thank god. Oh, I just smudged off my own eyeliner, so I'm gonna have to go back in and draw that on. It's five past five, I need to go. I can't decide if I want to walk there in heels or not, because then it's part of the whole look. Because this whole dress would look silly. I'm in mean, trainers. Wouldn't it? I'm gonna go, I've got gloves to put on, I've got a bag to pack and all that, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, I hope you like this look, I really like this look, I can't wait to take some pictures or get pictures taken of me, I feel so glamorous, I need to do updos more often, <gasps> this is so good, thank you for watching, thank you to my mum for doing this to the wig, this is amazing, and yeah, I will see you on the next video, please subscribe if you like this and you want to watch more of my videos, check out my older videos, Subscribe for the future ones, turn on notifications if you want to see future ones, and check me out on social media, I'm Ava Cassandra. You'll find me on Facebook and Instagram mostly. Also on Patreon and PayPal. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks again, and goodbye! Mwah.